Good evening, guys. We are welcome to the halftime show. Okay, it's November 13, half halfway through the month. Gusto natin pag-usapan mga movers, winners, top losers, top gainers for the three days of this week. Okay, so um, let's get to it. Ito na. Wala na, wala nang delay delay. Congrats nga pala sa um, UST for winning that exciting game. Okay, yan. Ito yung index natin today. So now, ang gusto na, ang okay dito ngayon, it's uh, above the 50-day MA support. So it's still above 7,900, which is, um, uh, I think, is the support. So, um, dire diretso ng bumababa since November 6. Yan, isang malaking down day. Profit taking, siguro yung mga tao. Uh, and so on. So let's um, start with the top movers for today. Okay, windows. Yan na dyan. Ito, walang volume, walang kwenta to, walang kwenta to. Ito, wala rin kwenta to. IDC, top gainer for today. Um, yon. So, IDC, it's here. If we're gonna draw the chart, go drawing tayo ng ray. Yun. Break out siya dito sa, nag-break out siya dito, nag-consolidate dito, three days bilang boom, flag, okay? <clears throat> Bibili rin ako dapat kanina, pero nahuli ako, naunahan ako, may, 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 may bumili sa 7.05, 7.10. So, hindi na ako humabol, sayang. So, anyway, kasi mayroon yatang stock, divi stock dividend. I think they announced their stock dividend. May stock dividend sila or something. Kanina may lobas dito na dividend. So anyway, um, bibili ko dapat sa 7.05 to 7.10 pero naunahan ako. So, chart looks okay. Immediate resistance is at 8.15. Yan. So from here, let's measure it. Fourteen percent, tala, no? So, <clears throat> okay, then. Pero um, one thing lang, walang momentum to low momentum. Um, ADX is at sixteen, so um, di rin ako sobrang um, di ko rin siya prioritize agad. So we have ANS and Anscore, Asorian, whatever. Malay. FNI is a top mover with volume, so this is very very um, galing na to, no? So Nag-pull back in stock. And then, dito sa 20-day, naging support yung 178. Boom! Uptick. Okay? So, bibiliin ko dapat din yan. Pero, marami na akong ibang pinagkakaabalahan. So, <laughs> hindi ko siya nabili. So, mga nakabili sa inyo, this is, um, I think, okay. So, maybe it will test the resistance uh, to 205. That's around 9% pa. So, dito siguro yun, dito siguro yun, ano, mauntog yan sa 205 area. So, good. So, congrats sa naka, nakabili. Okay. We have CHP, top gainer for today. One of the top gainer, 3%. So, um, nothing here. Downtrend to. Downtrend, break downtrend. Break downtrend dito. So, uh, nagkakaroon ng rally. Pero, importante dito, walang ADX. Tapos ito, nasa ilalim pa. So, ayoko yun. Okay? Um, mega wide. Wala naman nangyayari dito. Chart is, uh, let's check the chart. Check. Chart is on a clear downtrend. Okay? You can see this downtrend here. Okay? So, wala yan. Kahit na top gainer pa yan, mag rally lang yan hanggang dito sa area na to and then move down. Okay? So, this is still a downtrend. So, wala nang paka dyan. Okay, top loser, KPPI. After that, good 20% ride. Of course, kailangan din mag-end. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 straight days na up. So, kung bumili ka dun sa 4th day, kasalanan mo na yun. Okay? So, 
Um, di ko na kasalanan kung bumili ka sa 15 or 15.50 because this came from what? 11 pesos one week ago. So from 11 hanggang papuntang 15, that's around 40%. So binigyan ka ng 40%. Tapos kung di mo binenta, greedy ka, gusto mo, kinin mo, akit pa, okay lang. It's now at 13. Pero um, uh, pag, pag bumili ka naman dito sa 15, siguro kasalanan mo na rin yun kasi kumabol ka, di ba? Nafomo ka. That's a natural um, feeling. Okay? So, I hope you learned your lesson because now it's only 13. So, pagbunin ka sa 15, you're now down 12%. 12% lang naman, di ba? Okay. So, anong gusto natin mangyari? Abangan natin to near the 10-day MA which is at 12.5. So, that's around 80 cents away na lang. So, baka bukas, pwede na. Or, on Friday. So we'll see what happens here. Um, let, let's just watch it. Okay, another mover is PPG. Nag-breakout siya kahapon. Kahapon, nag-close above 12. Tignan natin itong past, ano, past, itong past year. Pag hindi natin sama, isama itong, um, pag hindi natin isama itong week na to, yung nag-sealing, nadamay sa KPPI, ito na yung pinaka-highest close niya ngayon. Okay? Boom. So, may balita siya. Mag-change siya ng name. Ayala. Something. ACEX. A-C-E-X. Okay? So, I don't know. So, maybe that's a good good news. So, umangat. Currently, nasa pause day to day. So, let's see. Tomorrow, anong pwede mangyari? Well, parati sinasabi ko, I'm open to anything. Diba? So, pwede mag down. Down. And then, up. Diba? Ganun. Pwede rin mag up. Okay. So, who knows? But this is clearly in a momentum stage because we can see ADX is at 37 and then here it's staying at the all-time high. 52-week high pala. Okay? Near the all-time high. Okay. So, that's one stock to watch. Another stock to watch, Wilcon. Grabe, nag-all-time high na siya. Okay? Um, 17.8 all-time high. If you want to see it, one week. Ayan. Ito pa yung notes ko dati nung, nung 2017. So ngayon, nandiyan na siya. Boom, ganda ng weekly chart. Oh. Breakout sa 17.5. So this is one of the stocks that I want or I want to look at kasi dahil nag 52-week high siya. Okay? Ganda ng chart. Weekly chart maganda, pero daily chart, all-time high. So, this is an alpha with ADX of 23.5. So, almost there. Nearing 25 to 30 area. So, babantayan ko to. Um, this will be one of the top priorities for me. Okay, FNI also. Um, mover, ah, sinabi na natin yan. Nickel Asia, let's see the counterpart. May bad news to. So, nahulog, di ba? So, last week, nag-post ako dun sa... Um, page ko, sabi ko, ingat lang. Baka mahulog. Kasi below na siya. So, ayun. Ganito pa yung chart niya. Eh. 392. Ngayon, nahulog na siya. Okay? So, ingat-ingat lang because the price is now below the moving averages. And um, momentum is dying down. Okay? So, cautious lang tayo dyan. Okay? Ingat-ingat lang. Um, Top loser, Jollibee Corp. Okay? Jollibee Corp. Ha. Oh, so ito, if you will draw the line here, support line is at 217. Boom, nag-breakdown. Breakdown na naman siya. So, shit, baka mag-below 200. So, um, tingnan natin kung saan natin siya pupulutin. So, um, excited ako dito dahil matetest ko na naman yung Boomy Bounce playbook natin. Okay? So, for those who doesn't know it, uh, meron, na, meron kami yung Boomy Bounce Playbook. Okay? It's a book, a uh, workbook. It's a like six-page workbook that um, explains how to play the bounce. Okay? So it's uh, available for my premium members. Okay? So that happened. Uh, nagawa ko siya dito sa itong bounce na to. Yan. Okay? And then I also did it here. Okay? So, um... Mga premium members na nanonood ngayon, 
Abangan nyo na yung bounce place natin dito dahil 3 straight days na siya down. How many? That's down 6%. Kulang pa. So, one more down day tomorrow and then let's see what happens. So, interesting din to, no? But it's not my priority. So, ito. Mrs. G, GSMI, down sila, mga low volume. Um, wow, one thing na uh, Ito, AGI, na ba? Nagkabuhusan, nagkabuhusan last week. Boom. Tapos nag-bounce ngayon. So, nandun, bumalik lang ulit doon. Diba? Sabi, tatanggalin sila sa PSE. Um, waiting. That's why nag-decrease ng weight dahil nahulog. Kaya nahulog to. Same with DMC. Uh, tatanggalin din the light waiting. Light, light weight doon sa index. So, nahulog. So, ngayon nagbabounce. At mas pangat to. AGI, bumalik doon sa taas. Uh, yon. So, ano pang movers today? SSI nag-announce ng earnings. Uh, ang ganda ng earnings daw. So, yeah, we, now we can see this reversing. Um, what do I mean by reversing? Nakikita natin na pataas na ulit yung moving averages. Yan na yung akat uh, na yung 10 sa so 50. Akat na sila pa akat dyan. Yan na yung gusto ng mga GFT tribe. Okay? Yan yung the stars are aligning. Uh, di ba? George, tama ba? Anyway, so here's the earnings today. Wala yung sira yata yung investa, um, investa na mga notifications. So dapat may earnings today. Nag-earnings to, nag-report here, the news. Reports, earnings, quarterly report. So medyo maganda naman yung earnings nila. So that's why we can see this stock moving up. Okay? So yeah, pa-reverse na siya. So yung mga mahilig mag-reversal play, SSI is one of the reversal plays. One rever speaking of reversal place, I can see Pepsi reversing also somewhere here. Uh, pero nauntong dito sa 50-day MA. So let's see what happens here. This is very, very interesting. Baka umakit na rin mga MAs in time. So, um, binabantayan ko rin siya actually. Hmm. One more reversal play is Alco. You can see, yan, alignment na naman. AOTS. Sorry, yung gamit ko yun. Pag nag, naalala ko parati sila Z, pag nakikita ko to eh. So, I guess sila buong ibili dito dahil magkakadikit-dikit lang. Umakat na 10 sa 50. Akat na 20 sa 50. Yung ba yung parameter? But, ang gusto ko lang dito, ang ADX niya, pataas na siya. 24 na ngayon. So, it's building momentum, right? Okay. Um, ano pa bang stocks na makakyat? Or bumaba? Uh, yon. Ang gusto ng lahat. Sun. Sunset or sunrise. ba? Okay. <clears throat> so, boom. Umakyat dito. Nakita natin. Dire-diretso umakyat. So, may, may news. Wala ako. Nasa Europe ako. Sa airplane ako dito. Hindi ko nabili to. Sayang naman. Okay, so isang malaking down candle. So sinabi ko last week, hindi ko alam kung dito sa video sa midweek or sa premium, but sinabi ko na I think the chances of this um going up are um, medyo alangarin ako dito. Um, bakit? Okay. So because of the news, nag nagdos from one nag two. Tapos binagsakan hanggang to 150. So ngayon, it's um, hovering at this range. So now it's in a range. So from 140 to 2, uh, 140 to 190 range. So ngayon, nasa maasa tayo na umakit to papuntang 1.9. So that's around 18% gain. So mag medyo maganda tong nakita natin today, right? This one, this green uptick, ganda. Today, up higher low okay rin so this has to move um i guess tomorrow right again yeah, no boom sana ganyan boom boom so yan yung gusto natin mangyari right um but uh as i said before can you um picture this guys ito picture niyo na itong mental picture na to ang laki ng inakyat tapos ngayon nagkaroon ng isang malaking red and then green, okay? So, anong pareho dito? Naalala ko yung Nickel Asia. Look at Nickel Asia. Hmm. Umakyat. 
umakyat. Tapos nagkaroon ng ano, umakyat ng sobrang taas, tapos nagkaroon ng malaking pula. <clears throat> Not exactly, tapos green, yan, naging support. Naging support yung 420. So yung 420 ng Nickel Asia, yun yung 140 ng Sun. Right? So ngayon, boom. Nandiyan lang. So nagstay ng matagal. Maybe one month konso, tapos bilang nag-breakdown. Actually, tapos bumalik, tapos nag-konso ulit, tapos nag-breakdown na. So this whole thing lasted for September to November. November. Three months na siya nang, nagiging ganyan. So yung sun, pwede rin, mag, pwede rin maging ganyan for three months, right? Um, yes, this is a backdoor play. Backdoor of that uh, foreign casino ba yun? Okay. Uh, so what's, anong meron pang news, di ba? Nangyari na eh, di ba? So this just, if this doesn't go up tomorrow, this can go down here or go to the 20-day MA. And then, wag naman sana yung 50 DMA. So, uh, it's really, really 50-50. But yung chart lang talaga, maganda talaga, maganda talaga to. So, if I will buy it now at 156 or buy it tomorrow at 158, 160, kahit anong presyo, lalagay ko yung cut ko dito sa 1.4. Okay? Because that is a support or dito, na, dito man lang sa taas. 1.43. 1.43, right? Yan. Okay? So, if ever gusto nyo siya i-trade, I think 143 will be the right cut loss price. If you buy it to 156, you have um, 13 cents of na risk. Right? <clears throat> so, alam nyo na yun, paano compete yung risk nyo, right? Okay. So, uh, I think that's it for the midweek halftime update. There's two more days left to make money. Um, Good luck, ah. So, we have two more days left. Halfway of um, November. Malapit na mag-December. So, uh, I hope we make more money. Uh, good luck, ah. So, premium members, I'll see you on Sunday. Uh, for you guys watching, please like and subscribe here. If you want to get updates every Wednesday for your, I know, um, winners and top winners and top losers and kung gusto lang nyo mapanood and marinig. So, thank you guys and um, have a great weekend.